Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Shore. I talk about or play games and today we're gonna be playing Super Mario Odyssey. Now in the last episode, if you don't remember, we got shipwrecked down here in the Lost Kingdom and we had to get 10 power moons to be able to power up the ship again. In this episode, now that we've got the 10 power moons, I'm gonna go ahead and throw Cappy onto the globe, insert our 10 power moons, and we can be off to the next kingdom. The Odyssey is repaired. This is cool how, it, even though it's fixed, it still has a bit of paint missing. It's all gray and stuff like that. And I feel like it really adds to the, to the authenticity. Like, I don't know if authenticity is the right word. But either way, th this shot looks really cool. It's the same like stuff as before. But like, just the lighting in it, it, it looks really nice. We found just enough power moons to fix up the Odyssey, thank goodness. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, got some useful skip, skills, roll, one move quickly or just sit down a hill, crouch, and, crouch down and press Y, you'll be able to roll. I think I've done that on screen already. If I haven't, then that's weird. Cause like, that's a pretty big, like, thing in Mario Odyssey. Anyways, it's already nighttime. Uh, I guess either A, it took us really long to get here, or B, we did it really fast. It's just that this is in a different time zone. It looked like semi close, like when we saw it on the globe, so maybe it's only like a couple hours in advance, which would make sense. Anyways, the scourge on the skyscraper. Alright, we finally made it. Things don't look so good though. Oh, by the way, during cutscenes like this, not like the big cutscenes, but the little text talking things you can move around the camera with the right stick. Hey! Look! Bowser. It's Bowser's ship. Let's go! So this is the Metro Kingdom, one of the most beloved kingdoms of all time. Uh, it doesn't look so cheery, though. Uh, right here we have Pauline from the original Donkey Kong games, also in Mario vs. Donkey Kong and other such games, but her first appearance was from Donkey Kong, and she has to say, I'm so sorry, but we don't have time to chat right now. I need to figure out a way to save my city. That sounds kind of like a quote from the game Shadow the Hedgehog from the president. I forget what quote it was, but... I Things have been in utter chaos since that brutish monster showed up, and he has the nerve to be advertising his wedding all over New Donk City. A bit tasteless, if you ask me. Yeah. She sure has been doing it a lot, too. So, a fun little thing you can do is called- I think it's called, like, the impossible skip. Uh, where you basically- if you position your hat in the right way. You can fling yourself over. And you can get over here. Now, normally you're supposed to take the zip line. Well, we just did a really cool trick. Here's what rolling looks like, by the way. I still don't remember if I've shown it off in a Let's Play before. Or at least in one of the episodes. Anyways. Bowser's got a lot of advertisements up. Speaking of which... Uh, I was thinking, when I was editing the previous video, how... Because I've been watching these Star Wars movies recently, because I had never watched them before, and now I'm watching them. Uh, I just finished watching Empire Strikes Back, and I'm gonna watch Return to the Jedi soon. Or Return... Return of the Jedi? I, I forget the exact title. I'll look it up, and then I'll put some text on screen saying what it is. Ow. <laughs> how, how did I miss that heart? But I realized that the... And I might be just weird, and I might just be imagining stuff, but the Galaxy Bowser theme, or at least I think that's where the theme originates, the one from where at the beginning of the game and when you get defeated by Bowser in the Cloud Kingdom, where it's like dun dun da 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 dun dun dun, uh, it's kind of, it reminds me a lot of the 
uh, I believe it's called like the Imperial March from Star Wars. Like, the da da da. It kind of sounds similar, and plus it's kind of where whenever the villain shows up, it always plays, and then I'm trying to think, it always plays, and then you know. I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about it, there aren't too many similarities. But, I don't know, just during the editing process, it kind of reminded me of that. Also, in between ep recording episodes, I just remembered back in, I believe, kindergarten or first grade or something like that. I think it was kindergarten. Uh, we had a field trip to Costco. I'm not joking. Like, you'd think, like, oh, maybe you'd go to, like... Because, like, in fourth grade, I had a trip to the park and stuff like that. Uh, I forget exactly what it was called. I think it was, like, the Playground of Dreams or something like that. I'm just gonna ignore that moon, because I like to go for story moons first. But yeah, you'd think that you'd, like, send your, like, group of kindergartners to someplace special. You know, like... I don't know. Just any place that's not a Costco. <laughs> um, and so, like, but it was a pretty neat field trip. We walked around the aisles, and then we got to walk behind the cash register. And you know how, like, in some places, in some Costco places... I'll get back to this later. First, we have some story stuff to do. I'll talk about the Costco trip later. This is the Mecha Wiggler, or at least that's what I remember the name being. It's pretty, they're pretty easy, they have these little blue orbs on them, and you have to shoot them with the tank. Ow. <laughs> I don't remember fully how to control this. Either way, we did pretty good there. But while I'm fighting this, uh, back to the Costco trip. We got to go behind the cash register, and there's this, like, at the one that I went to, I, I think it's in every Costco, but the one I went to had this, like, glass, or this room with a large floor-to-ceiling window up at the top, and we got to go up there and we got free candy. It was pretty cool. Yeah, that was a while, while back. It was like a decade ago or so. I think a little less than a decade, but who really cares about the exact time measurements? So yeah, Mecha Wiggler has some pink orbs now, and I somehow missed that cycle. My Joy-Cons aren't working properly, I know that just sounds like I'm an excuse that I'm using, but I'm having, like, drift issues. Like, I was holding forward, and the Tank wouldn't even move. <laughs> I'll see if I can skip the cutscene. There we go. Got the tank. I'll try using. I won't use the motion controls. I'll use the C stick this time. Sorry if I keep calling it a C stick. That's just what it's called on uh, GameCube and stuff like that. I think it's called just the right stick on Joy-Cons and stuff like that, but on GameCube, it's the C-Stick. Speaking of GameCube, I can't wait to play some GameCube games on the channel as well, because I don't think I've played any. That'd be fun. I'll correct myself in post if I've played any GameCube games, but I don't think I have, because... Yeah, I just don't remember doing one. I mostly did stuff on the 3DS and Nintendo Switch stuff and PC stuff. Unless I've played a PC game that was like also on Nintendo GameCube, but that doesn't make sense. Okay. Gotta avoid these this time. Can't die. Doing a lot better than I did last time, that's for sure. 
that's gonna pass by. Okay. So like games like Sonic Adventure and like Paper Mario 2 and stuff like that. It's just a lot of good GameCube games. Comment below your Oh wait, I did play a GameCube game, uh Luigi's Mansion. Uh, I don't know how I forgot about that one. Well, I guess I only did two episodes, so it wasn't really a memorable series. There wasn't really too, anything to differentiate it from any other Let's Plays. But yeah! That's the Mecha Wiggler boss fight. It completely blows up and we get another multi-moon. I've been using the roll a lot more since I learned that I haven't been using it a lot recently. Either way, we got... New Donk City's Pest Problem. I feel like I should put more excitement into vo my voice when I say that. Like, I try to do as much as I can, but not to the point where I'm getting loud, you know? Because, like, this microphone already picks up a lot of loud noises, so I don't want to be extra loud. A fresh start for the city. You can see that New Donk City looks a lot more appeasing now that we've gotten it to the daytime. You got rid of the big bug thing, and the weather cleared up. But Bowser must have gotten away in the scuffle. We should probably get back to chasing him. We don't have enough power moons, so let's look around the city for some. Are we running out of time? Uh... Yeah, we're running out of time. Actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and get one more power moon. So yeah, this is what New Donk City is like during the daytime. You can jump on the taxis and it'll throw you up in the air. You can climb on top of the street lights. It's just so cool. Because, you know, we haven't really explored too much stuff like this. Like, how many Mario games can you name where we go into a real-world scenario? Like, Mario is missing. Mario's time machine. Probably the Donkey Kong keep- Okay, th my point is that this is some stuff that hasn't been explored before, really. So, you might notice that all the streets are named after Donkey Kong Country characters. And, you know, it's called New Donk City. It has Pauline from Donkey Kong. It's pretty cool. So we'll get one more Power Moon and then we'll end it, end it off for, the, for today. New Donk City really means the world to me. I just can't thank you enough for all of your help, Mario. You really must join us for our upcoming festival. I'd, sh I'd love to show my gratitude to both of you and the city with a surprise. I don't know if I read that line correctly, but do you think you could find me four backup musicians I could do a small musical number? Something simple. So yeah, we have this drummer here. Yes indeed, even over the rhythm of the city, I heard you, you Mario, or you two talking. It's been a while since I was able to be a part of the city's festival. It's been a long while. If you'll have me, you'll, you'll tell the big lady that it's be my pleasure to join her on stage. And we got another story moon. Drummer on board. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my promise. I was thinking that maybe I should, you know, like do. Th I like how Mario dances here to the music. I was thinking maybe I should get the other musicians, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep my word. We can continue the story stuff on the next episode. So thank you guys all for joining me. Uh, this isn't what my normal outro is like, but I'll just continue. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of the musicians and see whatever else we can do along the way, and maybe even go to that festival that Pauline was talking about earlier. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye